Here in the southwest, we're dry and windy, a little bit cooler along the west coast into California, uh, but still some inland heat and even near record heat along the Front Range. Unfortunately, we're still dealing with some critical fire weather conditions today and tomorrow, and not much rain is on the way. So cooler, of course, as you headed farther west, 67 in San Francisco, Reading at 83, Reno at 77, but you head farther east, and we had some 90s. Denver, Colorado Springs, Albuquerque, Colorado Springs topping out at 91. That was good enough for a daily uh, high temperature record and not too far away from that in Denver as our temperatures were a good 10 to 15 degrees above average. Triple digit heat from Vegas down to Tucson, a little bit above average, but as I mentioned, Northern California was cooler than average. And then right along this cooler and warmer boundary, uh, we have those winds, and the winds are stirring up a pretty gusty uh, wind or at least a critical fire weather concern, and red flag warnings have been posted within that particular corridor. So from Casper to just north of Las Vegas today and tomorrow, we have critical fire weather concerns. So keep that in mind if you are in those particular areas. Very dry so far this year, almost four and three quarters of an inch below average in Denver, two and a half inches below average in Phoenix this year, and six inches below average in Los Angeles. But Redding, of course, uh, site to those very large wildfires this year, almost seven inches below average. And again, drought conditions do continue with a very minimal precipitation expected over the next several days here. So hopefully we can pick up more moisture as we roll into the end of the month and year.